guys so if you guys are interested in seeing my get ready with me video this is gonna be my first one honey yes so I finally jumped on the bandwagon all late but this is the uh, makeup that I'm going for just very um, neutral no foundation just um, mascara winged cat eyes and um, eyebrows filled in a pink lip and then if you um, want to see you guys are going to see how I also created my big voluptuous hair with um my Remington flat iron and my half of my Remington curling iron so if you guys are interested in seeing how I came up with this look then stay tuned okay so here is my skin it has my acne marks on it on the back so what's been really helping me um you know reduce the appearance of them is this dickinson's witch hazel 100 percent all natural after that i use my um seaweed mattifying moisturized lotion and it has spf of 15 and what i use to apply this on my face is a makeup brush and um, it's from the body shop and then once I apply it on I just stipple it in and then just moisturize it in my face so it can keep it nice and smooth first I'm going to be using my Esos lip balm to moisturize my lips next I'm going to be taking my Maybelline baby baby lips baby lips um lip gloss and apply that on then to water my eyes I'm going to be using Milani's liquify eyeliner and this is what I'm going to be using to line my top and bottom lashes to make your eyelashes seem like they're more fuller than what it is if you have like sparse lashes like my eyelashes are full but if you have sparse lashes it's always good to like taper your top line so you just want to put your head back and then just kind of get on that oh sorry if I'm showing you boogers hopefully excuse the nose hairs so just do that and you just want to do that and automatically you can kind of tell that the eyelashes look full on the bottom so next i'm creating a winged eye and i'm just going ahead and tracing my eyeliner and just connecting it to create an easy slick look so i'm going to be using the l'oreal voluminous carbon black mascara and this is the most highly requested Thing to know how I got my eyelashes so long like I did in my other one so you guys will see me step by step just using different mascaras all the mascaras um, I try to show and I will list them down below but basically what you're doing is taking the eyelashes and just tilting your head backwards and doing underhand strokes and overhand strokes and to make your lashes look longer you just take the mascara wand and just draw against the tip now for the bottom lashes, I do the same thing, just stretch and twist, stretch and twist, and just make sure you wiggle it so it's kind of perfect. You can see how long your lashes really look. So you guys can see my lashes look so long, and I love when I have full lashes. Okay, so for the hair part. So basically I have my hair in bantu knots and then what I'm going to do is just take them down and I'm just going to fluff them out a little bit, you know, just to stretch them out. So you can kind of see my hair has a little bit of a wave to it. Then I'm going to take my wiggle brush and I'm going to first, you know, comb through my hair so I make sure it's straight. Take my wiggle brush and my curling wand at the same time and curl it. And for people who need in slow motion, here we go. Just take a piece of hair divide it in a section just like so and then once you're ready to begin twisting you know doing the kind of Kim Kardashian hair take your wiggle brush and kind of put it on behind your flat iron and what you want to do is angle it away from your face both of them at the same time so the wiggle brush is straightening the Remington flat iron is curling so when you let it go it should give you like a Kim Kardashian curl Ooh, that's a long twist. <laughs> so for any loose pieces that you have, you can use your Remington curling wand or the flat iron again and then just continue to curl any hair that you want to be curled defined.
part i just like my um waves just to be like up and full in this area so that's why i always tend to sorry that's why i always tend to like lift up when i'm curling so that it can give it more body like it looks so i did apply my chi um silk infusion on my hair and I wanted for this look to get a lot of body. So what I did was I took all four of my fingers and rake going from back to front using my four fingers, which is the first way you can add body to your hair. Or you guys might choose the second way, which is probably a little bit more easier if you don't want to mess up your curls. And ooh, that was like hair porn right there. But anyway, Hair Tresemme 24-hour um, body spray. You take your two... Um, pick comb and then spray lightly and voila it's all done shabam makeup hair is done honey so stay tuned for the outfit and the pictures